Hey there, party people. So we all know what Nuzlocks are, right? They're that Pokemon thing that Jaden Animations invented. Honestly, I've always wanted to do one, but Pokemon videos just don't do well on this channel. But you know what does do well on this channel? Fate videos. So I had the brilliant idea of combining gotcha with nuzlocking, because what is life without the ever looming threat of absolute despair? But I didn't want to dive headlong into it, as this can be a bit tricky. It's not a one-to-one -one translation from Pokemon to Fate Grand Order after all, so this video goes over me testing the waters and figuring out ways to do this and the conclusions that I've reached. I did of course start with some rules in mind. First, if a servant dies, then I have to burn them no matter what. Any copies of that servant I get in the future are also burned. If my whole party wipes, then I delete the whole game and have to start all over again if I even want to. The idea being that if a master loses all of his servants, that master is going to get killed. And for the very start going into this, that's all I had. Fuyuki would be the testing ground to see what other rules I needed, and I did come up with a few throughout. Now, to begin the story, I skipped the story. It would make this project take way longer to do if I didn't. But, if you want me to make story commentary in future videos, then let me know and I'll make it work somehow. But for Fuyuki specifically, I'm pretty sure that I've talked about the movie First Order on the channel, so that's like, basically the same thing. Right now we're just focusing on fine-tuning the Nuzlocke before it really gets started in Singularity 1. Anyway, I pick Lady Ritsuka because if I'm eventually going to be completely miserable, I'm at least going to be cute doing it. I name myself A.V. Brian, because why not really, and we continue on until I can summon. Now, there are a lot of great options to get as a first summon servant. Maybe I'll even get lucky and get a 5 star. I honestly believe that there are only like really two bad options to get, and that would probably be like Steno and regretfully Marie. Oh, well, at least I love you dearly, so we got that going for us. Admittedly, it doesn't really matter for Fuyuki who I get, and by the time I get to where things are getting more difficult, I'll likely have more servants anyway. So, for the time being, I'll be chilling with my homie and the admittedly pretty good CEs that I got. So from there, it's really just slamming through the tutorials and the Fuyuki missions. And during this slamming is where I start fine-tuning things. First, friends are OP as hell, even just following. So after a bit, I decided that one rule would be that Friends and following is not allowed, and I would have to use the most level appropriate support that I would be able to get, or I could only choose the story NPCs when they are available. That should make it more balanced and give some more challenge. Though on the topic of levels, as I am solely in control of leveling up my servants, since unlike other gacha, the missions don't give any EXP to servants, and that causes a bit of a pickle for me. I definitely made Mosh and Marie way too strong, even without ascending them. So I have to figure out the best way to mitigate that, while not just outright neutering myself completely. Level capping sounds like the way to go in theory, but an accidental super success could completely ruin that, and that doesn't sound like a fun way to possibly end things. So I am 
fully open to suggestions on that front. I want to be able to make these videos as interesting as possible for my viewers. So if you have an idea, just put it in the comments. And while you're doing that, I suppose you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, just to make sure that I know you are definitely interested in this project. Also to address this at the top, I'm not sure about streaming this. I'll play with the idea, but it just has never felt quite right to me. And every time I have streamed has just been extremely depressing. But anyway, back to the thing. Fuyuki goes off without incident, no surprises there. Though I do worry about the difficulty of the early game. I know later on I can and have wiped with a fully powered team. So I have no doubts that this will get difficult and interesting to watch. I just want to have it be that way from the start. So still gotta really work that out before making the next video. So comments are very important right now. But before wrapping up, I did also come up with a few other ideas in the meantime for rules. A, I have to use tickets and 10 shots immediately when I have them. This is mostly to prevent me using clairvoyance and save up for game-breaking servants. I just get what I get. So I did end up getting 30 Saint Courts while going through Fuyuki. So I did a 10 shot and got Ibaraki and Barghest. Two great servants and two servants I really, really love. So, really good start for this Nuzlocke. Now, let's just wrap up this video with some summon tickets. Are you real? That wasn't even a golden spark, let alone a rainbow, and it wasn't even like a fake out card. It just popped up gold, and it's Morgan. I have her NP4 on my main account. What kind of sick joke is this? Artorio was my first five star on my main account as well. Is this a curse or a blessing? What does this even mean? <sighs> I suppose only time will tell. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'll be waiting a bit before making the next video so that I can be sure to get these rules set straight. And I'll record me summoning because I'm going to be locking in every day. So if I reach 30 or get tickets, I will record those. So those will start off the next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time in the void. Later.